What's up guys, Swamp Truck here. I want to, um, it's Valentine's Day first of all, and as we all know we all love skateboarding, that's why you're watching this and tuning into it. Um, I have a confession, I have a love affair with the backside air. Guys, I love flying on a ramp, getting up in the air, catching some air, grabbing it, turning around, riding away, man, nothing is more exhilarating, all right? So I want to share that with you guys today. This is a the Art of Ram backside air, all right? Um, first things first, good crispy deck. All right, good crispy deck is gonna give you that stiffness that you're gonna want, that control, that great board feel. Probably a newer grip tape or a clean grip tape. It's gonna keep that board sucked to your feet. So once you got that all set up, the board you're comfortable with, um, and a ramp that you're comfortable with, let's start trying the backside air. So let's talk about foot placement. Your back foot is normally, I mean, it's just gonna be anywhere where it lands coming off your setup trick, whether it's on the tail, in the pocket, it's gonna be somewhere right around there. Anything in the back is fine at this point. The front foot, I like to pull it back a little bit, all right? My normal riding stance is right behind those two bolts. I'm gonna pull it back an inch or two. Sometimes coming out of a trick, I have to just sort of hop it and take it where it's at. And so the foot's gonna be right there, all right? So that's foot placement on the backside air. Not over the bolts, just behind a little bit, all right? Next thing, let's talk about the bonk here, all right? This is, a bonk is like popping off the crack in your sidewalk in front of your house. That's what gets you in the ramp. Now, a good friend of mine, Eric Frolin, said you only have to pull out a half inch, you know? So, you can go straight up, you go straight back down, you're holding the board, and you can be really close like that and still make it, as long as you don't extend your legs early, all right? So, again, now we're at the bonk. That's what it sounds like, that's what it looks like. As you approach, you lift up, you start leaning back into the ramp, all right? Okay, let's talk about the approach some more, all right? I'm coming up the ramp. As I, I, I come up, there's a few things that really are, work really well in the backside air. One, get a good setup trick and get a good pump out of that. One of my favorite is just a backside pivot or a 50-50 grind. That gives me a great setup where I can sort of move my foot into place as I drop in, and then approach the ramp with my knees bent. Now, here's another crucial thing that uh, is definitely gonna be a make or break with the backside air, is pumping up the ramp. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, normally we pump both sides of the ramp, up and down, right? But when you're going for a backside air, you accumulate most of your speed from your last drop-in wall and you don't pump up the ramp. You actually just keep your knees bent, hand open, you're ready for that grab, all right? Let's talk about the grab. Your hands up, open, you're coming up. Okay, you're going up the ramp, you bonk it, you, and the board literally just comes right into your hand. So at first, nose grab's the easiest way to go. As you get a little bit more comfortable, you start making your way all the way around the board up here, all right? Okay, so that's the grab. A couple other things, coming out of a backside air. No, let's not even go there yet. Let's, okay, so we bonked the coping. We went up the tranny, we bonked the coping, we grabbed the board, what's next, what's next? Okay, this is gonna be the perfect spot to remember your breathing, all right? As I set up, I'm taking a deep breath in. As I come across the flat, I'm letting that breath out. When I hit the coping, I wanna have like literally no air in my lungs. Why? That makes you relaxed, it makes you lighter. I don't know if that's a true fact, but it feels like you're lighter and anything can be done. Especially that relaxed part on the exhale. You've heard me say it for years, you guys, on the exhale, it's so crucial, especially when riding a swing set, doing air tricks, inverts, anything like that. It's a little bit more um, extreme, upside down or up in the air, okay? So on the exhale, I'm coming up the ramp, lift the board in my hand, fully out of air. Now what do I do next? You don't have to do a full 180, all right? One thing is a misconception about the backside air is that you have to turn the full 180. No, actually, one of the greatest tips that was given to me about the backside air is by Justin Lynch was go up, turn 90 degrees with your grab, and then let gravity essentially pull you back down to the ramp, all right? And that may seem weird at first, but really just try a couple Turn 90, and you'll notice on the way in, your board just naturally goes forward. What guides it forward? Well, your head is gonna be down in the ramp. Your shoulder is gonna be grabbing, so your shoulder is gonna be pointing where you wanna go. 
you come up that ramp, you may have a little twist into, you know, upper body twist to get things started. Literally, bonk it, grab it, 90 degree turn. Now we're at coming in the ramp, all right? This is like, this is what hangs everybody up. This is what stops everyone, the fear of hanging up, crashing, burning, all that good stuff. But really, the probability of that happening more than a couple times is very low, very low, because you have to learn how to bail out of a backside air. So right away, I'm just then like, should have mentioned this earlier, but I mentioned it right now. You're gonna wanna wear knee pads, all right guys? Get some, get some good knee pads. Uh, I, I love the 187s, I really love Smith scabs. It all depends on which one's dry from the night before is which one I'm riding. Um, have your helmet on when you're learning any kind of new trick, especially in something that's nine, 10 feet tall. You're gonna be padded up ready for battle, all right? So you got your pads, You've done a couple knee slides out of the backside there. You're starting to feel that sort of bonk and turn and grab and everything's coming together. Well, how do you finish it up? Oh, before I go on, after that bonk actually, like you do on the sidewalk crack, you bounce your back leg up in the air, all right? Very important to sort of let that bonk take, take that power off that bonk and let your knee naturally float up to your chest, all right? So now you're in position, you're in the air, you bonk, you grab, you suck your legs up. Now you're coming back in. You're fully exhaled, you're confident, you're cool, you're collective. You're pulling the board with your hand the rest of the way and gravity's helping you out. And right then, as you're coming down right about here, probably at an angle similar, you just sort of let it go, flick it out just a little bit, and I'll turn it the rest of the way. You don't have to land perfectly straight. You can land a little angled and it will correct itself, you guys. Um, so the, the, the main tips in reviewing all this, don't pump up the wall for backside air. Just let the speed from the last wall guide your way and your speed. On the exhale, you're gonna be calm, you're gonna be cool. You're gonna, be, you're gonna just feel comfortable. So definitely take that breath. The 90 degree, don't over rotate. Nothing is worse than over rotating. Um, a backside trick because, well then your back is going down and normally it's a good whiplash, right? So don't over rotate, wear your knee pads. And of course, you're gonna just probably get to the point where it's gonna be land or slant, all right? And that's just the honest truth to anything, especially tricks in the air. You're gonna have to just go for that one. There's a lot of room for air on a big ramp like this, all right? And the bigger the ramp, the easier it is to learn these kind of tricks, all right? Um, the bowl is great. Um, the vert ramp here, the swing set's great. The Hopkins overpass is even better, all right? It's scary, but it's totally doable. It's literally probably easier than an axle stall, all right? So. Don't overestimate how hard this trick is. Just start trying it, learn the knee slide, and have some fun, For most importantly of all. You're gonna be catching air, and it's freaking radical, guys. All right, so I'm gonna just throw one up. Hopefully we can get this first try. But again, thanks for watching, you guys. I'm Swamp Trog, we're here at Third Layer one more time, and talking about uh, my love affair for the backside air. So here we go, I'm gonna start off, pivot, I'm gonna go front side, I'm gonna pivot again and I'm just gonna try to throw one up here and see what happens, all right? So at first you're, you're visualizing your whole run. You're gonna be thinking about what you're gonna do and then you're gonna let that go and just do it, all right? So, here we go. Now guys, that was a little low of landing, but it's better to land low and just hold on and ride away than it is to, of course, just bail out when you know you're in the ramp, all right? So again, it's gonna take a little fear breaking from you. It's gonna take a little trust in your ability. And you just got to go be brave, get out there, ram it down. Hope you guys enjoyed this trick tips. Send me some uh, feedback what you guys wanna see next. And we'll keep knocking out tricks, whether on the swing side, in the pool, in the street, in the mini. Um, yeah, man. Happy Valentine's Day, you guys. We love you out here at the third layer. And thanks for watching The Art of Ram.